Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Django project to use a Postgres SQL database. Postgres SQL is a free and open source relational database management system. Django defaults to using a SQL-like database, which is serverless and runs in the app, whereas Postgres SQL requires a database server to set up and run over the network. SQLite is best used for standalone apps, small apps that don't require expansion and can be used in development and testing. Use Postgres SQL when data integrity and reliability is your main concern and you're working with more complex databases. The first thing that we need to do is install Postgres SQL if it is not already installed. Installation processes on Windows and Mac are very similar. You can find the installers at the Postgres SQL website. Since I'm running a 64-bit system, I'm going to choose the 64-bit installer and I'm going to select the latest version, which is 13.1 at the time of recording. Once the download is complete, start the installer. And we're going to leave the default settings. We don't need Stack Builder, so you can deselect it now or hit cancel at the end to prevent it from installing additional drivers. Choose a default location. We need a password for the database. You need to remember this password because we will have to enter it in the settings.py file when we configure the database. The port is set to 5432 by default. We can leave this as it is. Leave the locale as default. You're next presented with a pre-installation summary. Hit next to start the installation. Once the installation is finished, you will be prompted to launch Stack Builder. You can select this option now and hit finish or hit cancel at the next screen. I have already created my project which is called School Database and I have created an app for managing students. I will add the REST framework and student to installed apps. This is the model that I have created. It is very simple for now. I have the student's first name, last name, and date of birth. Look for the database's dictionary in settings.py. Currently, it is set to SQLite 3. Replace SQLite 3 with Postgres QL. Set the name to student underscore database. Set the user to Postgres. Set the password to the password that you used during the installation of PostgreSQL. Set the host to localhost and set the port to 5432. You can open PG Admin from the Start menu on Windows. In Mac, you will have to open it from the Applications folder, then right click on the icon in the taskbar copy the URL and paste it in your browser. There are two versions of Postgres running on my system. 9.5 was installed with DaVinci Resolve. Version 13 is the version that was installed in this video. Clicking on databases shows you the available databases. The database named Postgres was created by default. Return to the editor and let's run make migrations. This gives an error because we are missing a module. I'm doing it this way because I want to show you some of the errors that may occur when trying to migrate to a Postgres SQL database. Install PsychoPG2 using pip and if you're on a Mac, you will have to add hyphen binary to that command. Run make migrations again and this time you will notice that we get an error stating that the database does not exist. 
return to PG Admin and right click on Databases and select Create. Name the database student underscore DB and hit Save. If we expand the database and click on the tables, we can see that the tables are empty. Return to the editor and run Make Migrations again, and this time the operation is successful. Run Migrate to commit the changes to the database. Now let's try to store data in the database. To do this, we will need to create a super user. Run the server and log in with the credentials that you just created. In order to see the model, we need to register it in admin.py. Now we can create student objects. If you refresh the database, you should now be able to see the database tables. This shows that our server is up and running. Congratulations on making it to the end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and if you would like to see more tutorial videos, please hit subscribe. Thank you for watching.